Teresa Lawrence has stepped up. She's a mom, um, and she's going to run against Alice Black in 174, which includes Lowndes, Eccles, Clinch, Charlton, uh, and Camden County. So she's got a big territory. Um, welcome, Teresa Lawrence. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Teresa Lawrence, and many of you have probably never heard of me because I'm new to this whole political arena. So I want to tell you a little bit about myself and how I've gotten to be standing here today. I was born and raised in uh, Fairfield County, Connecticut, by my parents, Frank and Rosa Palumbo. And I grew up and went to school surrounded by a lot of people with a lot of money and, uh, in their own minds, the superiority of, for, of, over everyone else, something that I really never bought into. Uh, my family was never well off like my friends were, but we had what we needed. When I graduated high school, regretfully, I didn't immediately go into college. I thought I was going to go out into the world and get a job and make it on my own. And as we all find out when we go and do that, it's a little bit harder, not always as easy as it seems. Um, after a few jobs in the airline industry and restaurant and retail businesses, a few moves up and down the East Coast and a couple of husbands, I find myself here in Lowndes County, Georgia. I moved here five years ago with my daughter, Danielle, to be closer to my best girlfriend from high school. Since moving to Lowndes County, I met my wonderfully supportive husband, Christopher Lawrence, and we've added three beautiful boys to our family, Jacob, AJ, and Alex. I've gone back to college with a vengeance, and I'm proud to say that I made the dean's list this semester. Thank you. <laughs> uh, last fall, the Occupy movement, as you all know, started in Zuccotti Park in New York City, and I started to take notice of the things going on around me in politics and policies that the politicians made. And I began to realize that they didn't always seem to have my best interest in mind. I like to think of myself as a fairly average citizen, and if I didn't think things were right or fair, then lots of other people must not as well. At the Cinco de Mayo Festival this year, uh, Gretchen Quarterman came up to me and asked me if I had ever thought about running. And I laughed and said, no, I'd never thought about it. And in my head, I was looking over my shoulder wondering who she was talking to because I was not a politician. Um, I told her I would talk it over with my husband and get back to her. And I went home and thought about it and realized that maybe that was exactly why I needed to do this, because I'm not a politician. I'm just an average person with some extraordinary courage. I feel that some of the most important issues currently facing South Georgians are the travesty that has been made out of the HOPE Scholarship Program. There definitely needs to be a cap put back on it so it can return to its original intent of helping those for whom the cost of education is soaring out of control. I think that the cuts made to the pre-K -pre program need to be reevaluated. Cutting teacher salaries, shortening the school year, and increasing class size are not the way to achieve Governor Deal's wish of having all third graders reading at a third grade level. I think that our treatment of immigrants who are here and working in our agricultural industry needs to be one of finding a way to help them on the path to either citizenship or some kind of work visa, not the attitude that we just need to toss them aside like rubbish. I don't know when trying to better yourself or your family has become a crime. And finally, I think that the government needs to leave the medical issues of women to be between her and her doctor. <laughs> The legislature needs to stop trying to regulate the how the medical profession should be treating women's bodies. I hope that I've given you some insight as to about me and as what I stand for. I've always felt that your elected officials are supposed to represent the people who elected them, and I hope that that's what I'm able to do. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me. I really do appreciate it. I also appreciate advice and donations. And um, I'd just like to say, if not me here and now, then who, where, and when. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. It, it's really uh, a privilege for me to know that our county has fielded candidates against our turncoats.